Self-sovereign identity, or SSI, is a relatively new concept that aims to let each of us control our sensitive data and decide on what and when to share with businesses. In practice, this means you will own a single digital profile or wallet with verified electronic versions of your physical credentials, such as an ID card or a driver's license. The identity data won't be stored in a centralized repository. Instead, it will reside on your mobile device, which reduces the risk of mass leaks. You can share selected credentials, for example, in the form of a QR code. SSI will enable you to authenticate yourself without disclosing sensitive data. In travel, it will speed up security checks at the airport and simplify the identification process at every step of the journey, from using car rental services to hotel check-in. The SSI scenario is a win-win for travelers and travel suppliers. But when will it go from concept to reality? The technologies for SSI are still evolving, with many travel players, from industry giants like IATA, Amadeus, and ICAO to startups, working on digital identity standards, rules, and infrastructures. Moreover, governmental bodies are also into the SSI idea. For example, the European Union is running an ambitious project called the European Digital Identity Wallet, under which, by 2026, every member state must offer at least one version of a digital identity app. This free, downloadable solution will enable citizens to authenticate themselves online and offline, share necessary documents, or reveal a portion of verified personal information. Among other things, wallets will store travel documents, like tickets, visas, and boarding passes, and let owners instantly identify themselves when booking a hotel.